and hello, welcome back to my Let's Play on Reckoning, there we go, and where we left off I just finished the tutorial and we're into the world. Have we leveled up? Way. Alright, let's level up here. Uh, go with blacksmithing, because I like blacksmithing. Oh, I'm terrible at English, oh well. And I'll probably go with... Increase mm. my shield. Mm. Uh, unlocks a charge special attack with full longsword. Yeah, go for that one. And one more into there. Right then, inventory, symbols, blah, you know the ritual, let's quickly look at all the stars. Alright, hold fist, gotcha. Pretty neat, alright. Continue on playing. Three boxes. No more. I told them we needed more cars. Are we really safe? Oh, that's a new tech then. All right. Alright, so we gotta travel all the way down to this way, uh to meet this person of the friend of the professor. So I just walk around. You've come from the tower, haven't you? Maybe. Name's Agarth. Maybe you can help an old fate weaver, eh? Uh, that. Did he? Poor old Fomerus Hughes. He respected the way the world works. What a shame. He's probably dead by now. What makes you say? He's dead. The cards told me that the Well of Souls would work, but Hughes's success would come on the day of his death. He took it pretty well, honestly. Although we did a lot of drinking after that. I suppose I could spare a little help in memory of Hughes, or in celebration of his success. Whichever. You! You're the one! Then that means... it all makes sense now. The cards this morning. I drew the Gravedigger, the Running Man, and the Beast. Prepare yourself. Okay. They're coming. Who's coming? Ew. Those people. Let us attempt fate! Too late to escape fate! Uh, a G, Another victory! Oh, it's people with daggers this time. Uh, reckoning mode. Reckoning mode grandly increases your speed and attack power. It lasts until your fade meter runs out. Or fade shift. Or you fade shift an enemy. There we go. Come on, boy. Too late to escape fate. <laughs> Another victory! 
What? How? What are you? I don't know. Are the you? threads of fate. I've seen them before, but I've never seen anyone manipulate them like that. You just changed how the world was supposed to work. How did you do that? I don't know. <laughs> that guy's actually you just... that. Fate is the will of the gods. No mortal should be able to change it. How is that even possible? I Come don't here. know why I'm you're going to do a me. reading. You might be able to change the threads, but fate will still have a plan for you. I promise not to tell you if I see your death. Uh. It's a gift. Me? Some people paint landscapes, other people write poetry. I peer into the weave of fate's tapestry and see people's deaths. Uh, is this why you say that would be my guess. He was an academic, but he had a proper respect for fate's plan, unlike most gnomes. Fine. You're nervous. Relax. This is what fate weavers do. I'll be seeing your place in the pattern of destiny. Who you are, what you've done, where your path takes you. Or, at least, I should be. You're real, right? I think so. I swear I haven't had that much... Sure. Eat a alcohol test. Fate's weave is always hard to see. It's in motion, hard to make out, but undeniably there. Yours is just missing. Okay. This doesn't make sense. All mortal creatures have a place in the pattern. That means I'm You should have one too, dead or not. If this is true, and I'm not saying I believe it. Then your path is yours to determine. Nice. Ooh, what should I be? What should I be? Fateless one. Newly resurrected, your fate is blank. Formless and ready to forge into your shape and of your choosing. Uh, I'm going that one. I can see the threads around you, but they're shifting, changing so rapidly, I can't make sense of them. Normally the uh, threads would guide my hand to the cards, and I'd use moving? those cards to see your pattern in the weave. His mouth is but it just moving. didn't happen. They wouldn't focus. So either there's something wrong there with me, and there isn't, or there's something very wrong with you. Damn it, it's the truth! At least, I think it is. The world is changing. You might be a sign of that. Or maybe the cause. I've never had a reason to doubt my own readings. But we should consult with Arden. He's not a friend, but he's got a good eye for the tapestry. I'll meet you at his home to the east. I'm going to see if I can be of any help to the wounded at the tower. Uh, what's wrong with my fate? That's just it. I don't know if you've got one, but that's, that's why we're nice going to, to see Arden. He lives in a little hut to the east in Yulvan. I'll meet you there. All right. What that's could good. this all mean? Looty looty. Continue on with my journey or our journey. Let's go. Run. <laughs> of all the songs in halls of lore, there echoes none more grand than Olaine's many feats of might, the pure and lady of the light. She is a knight of golden knot. She is the cure seeker. The conscience of the summer fay. She is the heart of spring of day. And I'm going to stop it there because my time is running out. Alright, tune in next time. Bye.